Hi all, so I have created this YouTube channel to share the basic knowledge about APN. So as first step, I have created a sample application called YouTube Sandpit and all these objects are automatically created when you create a new application. So today we will be seeing how to create a table in database how to insert the values there and how to reflect the same table as a CDT into our APN application. So we'll first go to our cloud database and let it open. Yeah. Yeah, so our database PHP my admin has been opened by default. It is given in all uh, community editions. So we will expand the APN and here you can see four options functions, procedures, tables and views. We will expand the tables. We'll create click on new and here you will get a new window where you can add your table. So here we will give our table name as YS as mean YouTube studio and then we will create our test table so we'll test table will try to create it and name we will give ID so ID will be type int only and here you are seeing one option called a underscore I so that means a auto increment so we'll check box this box and it will automatically convert this into a primary key okay and next we will add a, a name and then name will be of where chat and the length of names will be let's see like 20 character maximum will keep it and then after name we'll try to make email email id and it will be also where chat and it will be along 50 characters and after email id we can write phone number as well so phone number also you can add it here we will keep it virtual and we'll keep it well now to add now to add new columns into your table you can there is an option here where you can add multiple column for example if i click on one it will add one column here see a new column has been added if you want to add multiple columns like three or four you can add the three columns as well but uh, we won't be using that uh, for testing purpose that much is enough so here there is an option of preview sql so if you click on preview sql you will get get a basic sql syntax which is used to create a table so create table apn and these are the values id is int not null auto increment because it is a primary key and name is there the length is written 20 email id is also virtual and it is not null phone number primary key is id engine is in otv we'll keep it as it is and we'll click on save so now this is the uh, our table so currently there is no data in our table and here you can see the structure of your table so id is of what type and what is the length given what is the relation all these things you can find in the structure view now we'll try to insert some data into our table so there are two ways of inserting data uh, in PHP admin so you can directly go from SQL as well and you can go to insert as well so we will first try to see how to insert data with the help of SQL so here we multiple options are there so it is very handy to use you can just click on insert and see the query changes so automatically these values are there so we'll try to delete these values okay and now let's make it more to yeah so in values first is id so id is our primary key so you can just give it null no issues and then name so as part of name we'll try to give it test user and after name there is email id so test user at the rate gmail.com the rate gmail.com after that there is phone number so let's give a phone number as a sample random phone number we have provided and after that you can put semicolon as well and now you can click on go so you can see in one row inserted so one row has been inserted now if we go back to browse we can see that automatically the id has taken one value even though we put it one because it is a primary key name is there email id is there and phone number is there 
now we'll go and see how to insert data with the help of this button so we'll click on the insert here and then here also you can leave the id as blank since it's a primary key and name you can put it as let's put user2 and email id will put it as user2 at the rate gmail.com phone number let's put it like something a random phone number and now let's so here if you want just want to add one value you can add it or if you want to add multiple values you can add it or you can you want to add more columns so you can increase the columns as well so we are just trying to add one value here only so we'll just click on go so here you can see one row inserted and this is uh, the SQL query for that so you can go to browse and here you can see one two uh, rows has now been filled up whatever the data we have specified now we'll try to now our next objective is we'll try to reflect the same CDT in our uh, APN so we'll go back to our APN application we, we, we will go back to new and we will go back to data type and here uh, four options are there create from scratch if you want to create from APN uh, duplicate existing data type if you want to duplicate some existing data type present and the third option is create from database table or a view and fourth option is import XSD so we'll see these options later on but here we will try to first check from database table or view so data source is by default JDBC APN and here we want to go for our YouTube so we'll just search by yes so this was our table and we will click on continue so if you click on continue you can add a description for that so we can test a table you can add it and here you can see uh, whatever the name that was given in our database that name is reflecting okay and whatever the name you you want to have in your CDT that is reflecting so that is the advantage of creating a table from database you we can retain the naming convention so maybe in our, your APN CDT you want it in camel case maybe in database you want in Pascal casing so both can be done okay so ID is there name is there and let's make it ID as email ID as email ID and phone number let's make it in capital okay and there is no data store present so we'll create a data store as well so yes let's make it data store we'll click on create data store so our data store has been created we'll keep the default settings click save and this is our table name so that also you want to modify you can do it or anything else you want to do that's also fine now let's click on create now once we click on create automatically CDT has been generated in APN so it is loading yeah now you can see automatically a uh, CDT has been generated in APN and all these values are already mapped so and whatever the length that we have specified in our database or that lengths are automatically reflecting here as well so this is how we create a table in uh, this is how one of the ways of creating table in APN okay uh, in next video we'll see how to uh, add column with the help of xsd so that's it for now let me know in the comments like what else you want to see uh, in apn okay so thank you all for watching